morning children welcome once again to our english lesson this lesson focuses on unit 4 of your grade 10 textbook in this lesson you will be able to practice grammar let's learn how to form questions using wh question words let's start the lesson children let's start the lesson with an activity in this activity you have to match five questions with the relevant answers what you have to do is write the correct letter of the answer in the box given you can pause the video and do it now okay children as the questions are very simple and familiar i'm sure it was easy Let's check your answers. Let's read the first one. Here the question is, what is your name? What can be the response to that? You have to give the name here. Is it D or E? Because both give names. As the question says your name, you have to start with my name. So it should be E. My name is Isuri. Now let's check the second one. Here the question is why are you late as the question word is why you have to give a reason as your answer here you have to give the reason for being late so what's the answer yes it's c because i missed the bus okay children what about the third one now where do you live The question word where expects you to give a place as your answer. So here you have to give the place you live. Okay, what is the matching response? Yes. It's A. I live in Kandy. Now the fourth one. Here the question is when did you leave home? So the answer should be a time, date, date, month or a year. Here is the time you left home. The answer is there in B at 8 a.m. Okay. In the last one, the question word is who is your best friend? The question word who expects you to give a person or people as your answer. What is the matching answer? Yes, it's the remaining one. D. She is Tania. Okay, I hope you got all the answers correct. Okay, children. Now let's pay attention to the five questions in the earlier activity. All these questions begin with WH question words. Look at these WH questions. You have what, why, where, when and who. You learned about WH question words in fourth lesson in unit 3. If you have missed it, you can watch it on our channel. Let's practice how to form questions with WH question words. As we noted earlier, in each of these questions The first word is a WH question word. Okay, what comes after the question word? Yes, as you can see, it's the verb. Here is the be verb or the verb do. You have is, are, do and did here. You can also write the verb have after the WH question word. children now the verbs be do and have are called auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs are helping verbs now if you want to know more about auxiliary verbs you can study this okay children we usually form wh questions with the help of an auxiliary verb i'm going to teach you two ways of forming wh questions today Okay. 
Now look at this question. Here you have the WH question word, the B verb and then a noun phrase. So children, when you write a B verb after the WH question word, there can be a noun phrase after that. Here, what is the WH question word? Is is the B verb and your name is the noun phrase. Here is another example. Here also you have the WH question word, the B verb is and the noun phrase your best friend. Now look at this question. Here you have a different pattern. First you have the WH question word, then the auxiliary verb do, the subject and the main verb. Here instead of the noun phrase, you have a verb. Here is another example for the same pattern. Hope you can understand the two ways of forming WH questions. If it's not clear, you can go through it leisurely once again. Children, now let's practice what you have learnt. Look at these five questions. As you can see, the words in these questions are jumbled. So can you arrange the words to form meaningful questions? You can pause the video and do it now. Let's see how you have done it. Let's read the first one. Here the WH question word is where. So let's start with where and write the B verb is after that. Now what is the noun phrase here? Yes. It's my bag. So you have to write, where is my bag? Don't forget to write capital W at the beginning of the question. Now let's check the second one. What's the answer? Yes, you have to write, when is your birthday? Again, you have the WH question word, the B verb is, and the noun phrase, your birthday. Okay. What about the third one now? So, come, when, did, you. So, what is the question here? Yes, when did you come? This is the second pattern you learned. WH question word, the verb do, the subject and the verb. Now the fourth. How do you arrange the words? It should be what is your ambition? Again, you have the WH question word, the B verb is, and then the noun phrase, your ambition. Now, how do you do the last one? Yes, you have to write, when are you leaving? So you have the WH question word, the B verb, the subject and the verb. I think it was not very difficult. Here you reordered the words to form questions. Now you can try writing questions as suggested in activity 3 on page 35 of your textbook. Children, now we have come to the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we practiced how to form WH questions. I hope it was clear. In our next lesson, let's learn more about describing pictures. Please subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.